So, <laughs> dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure to welcome you uh, at uh, this scientific meeting or uh, discussion meeting, which is according to the European Union terminology, technical meeting. I don't know why, because it is really scientific meetings because you are scientists. And you will discuss, I hope, very deeply uh, the importance of uh, early diagnosis of screening programs at the newborn future of these programs and perhaps you give us some suggestions which we can continue and which we can discuss you in September with uh, minister board, its minister meeting and we will postpone during our presidency. So nevertheless it is great pleasure to invite you here and I am absolutely sure that uh, newborn screening is crucial. I am a radiologist so I know what does it mean screening programs. I like breast carcinoma screening programs. I started colorectal carcinoma screening programs as a member of Gastroenterology Society. And now as a minister, I hope I can do the best concerning the newborn screening program in Europe. Because it is my priority, it is our presidency priority, and I am absolutely sure it is European Union priority. I am truly happy to welcome you in my own town, in my <laughs> town Brno. <laughs> majority of our government is uh, uh, from Brno. Our premier is uh, from Brno. I am vice premier, I'm also from Brno. Two past rectors of Masaryk University, which are member of our government. Our premier was past uh, uh, rector of our university. All are from Brno. So, Brno is really a scientific city, and Brno is now capital of Czech Republic. It's secret. <laughs> Please, <laughs> secret for us, <laughs> nevertheless, true reality. <laughs> so, uh, I am therefore truly happy to welcome you in my own city of Brno at this very beautiful place, Mendel Museum in Augustine Abbey, where Gregor Mendel discovered, uh, made his discoveries. I am absolutely sure that Gregor Mendel was scientist was excellent scientist, was father of genetic, and started one of the biggest uh, change in biology. So I hope you will continue with second biggest change to have in all Europe, same quality screening program related to newborns to offer to our children concerning early detection, the best treatment and to offer concerning rare disease the best. What can I promise? We do everything what's possible to be available all rare drugs concerning to, uh, these diseases in each European country. We do the best concerning discussion with pharmacological, pharmacologic industries to, of, such, to offer to our citizens in Europe the cheap price and I'm absolutely sure that this drug must be widely available. I have personal experience with Spinraza. I had a lot of patients because I'm international allergy, so it's necessary to Spinraza concerning injection through over the city guidance if the children have some problems with spine. So I know, I remember very well how difficult is this procedure and therefore I'm very happy that our new drug available like uh, Zongesma and others, and how important change this drug, the life, our children. I hope your meeting, despite being quite short, but from looking at the program, really intensive one, will support development of the key indicators that will help to identify the best practice in newborn screening programs in the European Union. It would be great if this meeting led to the recommendation for newborn screening data collection and their secondary use within the European Union. I mean these data are closely related to European health data space and European health data space could be one of the future concerning close cooperation between European scientists. Consistent data and the definition are crucial should screening programs be implemented across the Europe and should we wish to reach the highest added value. So, dear colleagues, I wish you a fruitful meeting, a fruitful discussion, 
and I'm looking forward to important conclusions which are for us, unfortunately I'm only politician, so which are very important for us politicians concerning our presidency and I promise I will postpone this recommendation to European legislative. Thank you very much. Milana, colleagues, thank you very much. It's a great pleasure to be here. Uh, Mr. Minister mentioned the majority of the, of the key, key issues which are supposed to be mentioned here. What I would like to just say, uh, what you do uh, is a fight with time. We know that the time for the patients is most crucial. It's something, you know, what, uh, what, we, what we need to, to get. And newborn screening is the only way how to, how to really manage the, the right time. Uh, for the kids to, to get higher chance of survival and higher chance for quality life. So that's what we, what we try to also implement here in the Czech Republic. Some of you are probably aware that from the January we launch uh, the, new, the new newborn screening for, uh, for kids uh, with uh, the SMA and also with uh, the other diseases. And it's looked like that uh, we are one of the first countries who allowed you know, the screening to be available you know, for, the, for, the, for the kids. And if we take, you know, how essential is the time, this is something what we would like to see it all around the Europe. And that's, you know, how I'm coming, you know, for the, for the next, uh, next key issue, which I would like to mention it, and the, in the future action plan for rare disease. You know that the Czech Republic jointly with France and with the, with the other countries who are very busy, you know, in this area of, of rare disease, try to push the European Commission to prepare the similar plan as we have it for the, for the uh, cancer, so the European Beating Cancer Plan. And we hope that during our presidency, especially during the, the EPSCO meeting in the, in the late autumn 2022, we will be able to have a call for action for the European Commission to start to work on the, on the plan, which will be, let's say, covering research, which will cover the clinical trials, but which will also cover the funding for the, for the rare disease and will support the network of the, of the centers which are available for the patients with, uh, with uh, the ultra rare, rare diseases. So this is our priority agenda. We closely work on this with our French colleagues who launched this discussion during, uh, during the, the last half a year. And we definitely will prepare the discussion with our Swedish colleagues, you know, who will take over the Czech presidency from the January 2023. So we still have some time. We also know that it's very difficult to push the European Commission to move it with, uh, with such a topics, but we also see a very good environment currently, you know, to, uh, to, get, uh, to get success, you know, in this task. Uh, Mr. Minister mentioned, uh, mentioned some of the legislation which are in the pipeline. We know that we will have a new regulation for orphans, uh, for orphan uh, designated uh, uh, products and for rare diseases. We will have a new regulation for the medical use, uh, for, the, for the pediatric use of, uh, of uh, pharmaceuticals. We will have a European health data space regulation coming. We are now running the first uh, round of the discussion. And all those, uh, all those regulations and, and new legislative proposals coming from EU Commission are setting up the environment for rare, the rare diseases also for the screening and also for the new plan. So this is, let's say, the overall environment which is now in the, in the pipeline and we will, we will really do everything to move it forward. So this is our promise. This is something, you know, what we, what we want to achieve it. Uh, there will be definitely a lot of, uh, lot of discussions and obstacles which we, which we have to cross it. But the meetings like this putting a very good uh, base for the further discussion. And I agreed with Professor Macek and with the all realization team, with Professor Kožich, Professor Kadoležilova, Professor Pospišilova, that we will really take out, you know, all what will come from the meeting. And we will try to use it to, uh, to push uh, the DG Sante, to talk with uh, Madam Commissioner, to have uh, the plan ready for, for coming years. And Mr. Minister also mentioned a very important topic uh, and is the availability of treatment for the kids and for the, for the rare disease uh, patients. Uh, that's good to have uh, the diagnostics, but we also have to have a full accessibility of those products. You know that in the Europe, especially in the small states, uh, we have uh, much uh, smaller availability than in the big states. Uh, and it's another very important legislative discussion in the European Commission, and it's the pharmaceutical, overall pharmaceutical strategy. And again, we believe, and it's an it's a, it's ongoing discussion, that especially in the area of launches, we will, we will start to negotiate and we will start to prepare the regulation which will push the producers uh, to come to the states, also to the smaller member states uh, in the same time or similar time, like to Germany and other, other, other big uh, strong economies of the Europe. And 
we have a big solidarity from the big states to support also us. So I believe, you know, that uh, the next year will be the year where a lot of changes will happen in the, in the area of uh, availability, but also the uh, area of planning for the rare disease and for the screening, which is essential. Thank you very much, and I hope that everything will goes well today, that uh, the video will work and uh, all the presentations will be then available. And once again, thank you very much for attention and for the possibility and chance to be here with you.